Suomi synnyin maa, soi sana kultainen. On December 6th, while much of Finland watched nationally televised Independence Day celebrations at home, far-right activists set out into the streets for a march of unprecedented size through downtown Helsinki. The rally began on a frosty square across the street from the Finnish parliament with heated anti-immigrant rhetoric. But at the moment, uh, it's, uh, our ladies are making 1.6 children and it's, it, the country is collapsing and, uh, and the Muslims are making uh, maybe, maybe 8.1. Some people see the refugees as a, some kind of a weapon uh, to uh, put immigrants into our society and make problems via that. Yeah. So it's not like a traditional army is coming. They are just uh, invading our country another way. Uh, I know, for example, some st study which says that it's 12 times the raping risk of African people uh, who are coming here compared to Finnish people. Yeah. So they are also committing crimes yeah. because they don't uh, respect women's equality, which is a common thing in Finland, yeah. uh, Finnish society. Right. So Oletteko miettineet, miksi pakolaisaalto Irakista ja Afganistanista alkoi vasta nyt, kun niissä on käyty sotaa jo toistakymmentä vuotta? Eurooppaan on tullut laittomasti noin 800 henkeä tänä vuonna. Vuonna 2030 niin tulee olemaan sit meillä niinku puoli miljoonaa maahanmuuttajaa. En tiedä teistä, mutta tämä kuulostaa kyllä ihan niinku päivänselvältä kansanmurhalta. Sebastian Tinkinen became a minor celebrity as a character on the Finnish version of the reality show Big Brother. Today, he's a leader of the youth wing of the second largest party in Finland, the far-right True Finns. Of course, uh, of course uh, also Finnish men do that and so on, but uh, like, uh, we have this statistic that those people who come from uh, Northern Africa and uh, those Arabic areas, uh, they rape uh, 17 times, how do you say, more than, yeah, than Finnish men. Herätys Suomi! Kuinka kauan annamme vieraiden häpäistä Suomi neitoa? Kun niin kutsutut suvaitsevaiset ihmiset avaavat sydämensä sopeutumattomille yhteiskuntamme hyväksikäyttäjille, meidän naisemme ja tyttäremme joutuvat avaamaan haaransa. Kuka on seuraava uhri? Onko se, onko se oma siskoni? Sinäkö? Vai sinä? Kansallismieliset voimat nousevat Suomessa, eikä mikään pysäytä meitä. Demonstrators were treated to a viewing of the viral anti-immigrant film Open Gates, which suggests that refugees from Africa and the Middle East have come to Europe to cash in on welfare and rape white women. The film stars Donald Trump. I've been watching this migration and I see the people. I mean, they're men, they're mostly men, and they're strong men. These are physically young, strong men. They look like prime-time soldiers. At the rally, we met Yunus Loka, a rabble-rousing extremist from the small Change 2011 party. Like many others we met there, he was preoccupied with the threat Middle Eastern refugees supposedly posed to the safety of Native European women. They raped 17 times more, more often than the Finnish uh, common citizen. The, the, the people from uh, North Africa and the Middle East, they have this ratio of 17 in rape uh, crimes. Of course there are uh, uh, other rapes, 
but it doesn't affect the security of uh, the citizens on the street. Right. The, the, other rapes, the other rapes don't affect security? Uh, no, because they happen inside. Right. So you, it means that in Finland, uh, the, the women and, and everybody, the, the, the kids, are used to walk in the streets yeah. safely and they don't get assaulted. But with the, it's, a, the it, it's obvious, you, you bring guys from the Middle East yeah. or, or developing countries, of course they rape, or of course they, they assault you, because yeah. they, they come from those bullshit countries. So it's, yeah. it, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Loka stepped to the stage to give a mock award to Lee Anderson, a left-wing member of parliament feminist activist, and one of the most vocal critics of Finland's far-right forces. What about the um, award you gave to Lee Anderson? Lee Anderson is uh, uh, Lee Anderson. writing lots of negative things about your movement. Uh, Lee Anderson is a psychopath. My uh, friend, my, who speak Finnish, they said that you said, uh, should we put it in her vagina or in her ass? Uh, no, no, I didn't say that directly. I just said that number two is number one. And that is a Finnish expression that uh, number two is your ass and number one is your vagina. But right. I didn't really say that. But, but that would be rape, wouldn't it? No, of course it would be, but it's uh, it's just an expression. Yeah, it's that, like a joke that you're making. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, do you do you really think I would be putting that cactus in her ass? We met Anderson after the rally to discuss the right wing's moral panic. Uh, me and a whole lot, with many others of um, visible female figures that have taken standpoints in public, commented on issues concerning racism, xenophobia, nationalism, and so on. We've been receiving threats for a long time already, uh, and a lot of these threats are, especially when they are. I mean, men get threatened with violence, and they get death, threat, death threats, uh, and women usually get uh, threats uh, regarding sexual violence. Rape threats. Yeah, rape threats. Uh, I'm used to this, uh, unfortunately, and a lot of other visible female figures are as well. And the whole irony here is that these same guys, it's, it's, it's coming from the same guys that are saying that they are now wor worried about the rights of women in Finland because of these rapes, rape issues. It's the same guys who are then making funny jokes about raping <laughs> women or um, sending messages where they are saying basically that you deserve to be gangbanged by a group of immigrants. It's, it's just something, I mean, they are using the argument about gender equality and about women's rights, they're only using it for, the, for a racist political agenda. I feel, I feel it, it's really important to talk, about, to talk about rape and to talk about violence against women and to talk about sexual harassment and what we can do about it. But Finland, for example, as a country, is one of the countries in Europe that is the most dangerous to women. Uh, we have a whole tradition, a whole culture, unfortunately, of violence against women in their homes, for example, and these are issues which these actors have not been interested in before. So the march is beginning. The march is uh, led by the National Resistance Movement, which is a uh, neo-fascist movement. And it's just, it's just followed a 
demonstration that included members of the second biggest party in Finland. Um, it's really cold out. Someone just handed me a beer to uh, warm myself up. It tastes like patriotism. Let's go. As the demonstrators prepared to march, we encountered Timo Hanekin, a poet and essayist who became famous for Without, a polemical book about his romantic failures. Hanekin insists that men's rights groups be established to, quote, start history again. Apparently, Hanekin has found such a group among neo-fascists. I'm the chairman of the association uh, which uh, organizes uh, this, this march. And uh, this is uh, a, politi a political, patriotic uh, march for the Independence Day. Uh, this is the second time uh, this is organized. And you've uh, written on Twitter, um, and I've seen translations where you've written Hitler, 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 and talked about gas chambers for opponents. Um, can you explain what the meaning of that was? Uh, it was a joke. Yeah, it was a joke about Hitler. Yeah. Like, what, 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 what's, what's, what's the humor? Uh, the, conne the connection is really, really, really complicated. Yeah. I, I just uh, wanted to... Uh, um, make uh, uh, make fun of people who have ac accused me of being Nazi or something like that. They're calling you all kinds of names and yeah. you think that it's unfair. Yes. Why? Why? Why is it unfair? Uh, because it's not true. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not a national socialist. Me uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm a, tra I'm a tra traditionalist and uh, a nas nationalist, but uh, there's uh, no, no connection with national socialism or fascism. Yeah. Well, what they are trying to do is that they are trying to. Uh, deepen the cooperation between different types of groups which haven't really cooperated that much earlier in Finland. Because you used to have this scene where you had the more extreme, clearly like neo Nazi Finnish resistant movements and groups like this. And then you had Suom and Sisu, for example, and you had members of the True Finns, you have some more moderate groups, and they were trying, I feel at least, to a certain point, they were keeping a distance from the more radical groups and there weren't that much cooperation between the different actors. But now we saw it already last year on, on uh, the Day of Independence that these marches is uh, uh, an important way to kind of gather actors from different parts of the, of the nationalist scene. And of course it's, it's a problem in many ways because it normalizes, normalizes it even more, but it also makes the whole um, I would say movement stronger when they are able to cooperate in the way they do. But in the end of the day, the, the core thinking is the same for all of these groups. It's still about uh, hierarch um, classifying people in hierarchical terms, terms in a hierarchy. Yeah. Uh, based on culture or based biology. On culture or biology, and it's a very thin line. Most Finnish cities will be surrounded by a ring of burning ghettos. Yhden kaveri sen poikaan rajalla, niin sanoi, että neikeri ukko tulee sinne ja sanoi, että turvapaikka se ei ole mitään muuta Suomea heti ollaan sisällä. En te, enpä tiedä, mutta tämmöistä on ja kaiken maailman muussa nimittäin lähiluja pyykkii tuolla. Kahtokohan minä nyt ja pohti tuossa ukko huutaa siellä tavalla. Islam aiheuttaa vakavaa turvallisuusuhkaa myös Suomessa, kuten juuri äsken. Mutta on pakko kysyä, mitä valtiojohto aikoo tehdä suomalaisten turvallisuuden takaamiseksi? Onko niin, että vain anteeksi pyydellä ja alistua islamin edessä? Minusta se olisi aivan äärimmäisen häpeällinen tie. Arvoisa puhemies, Islamin invaasio ja terrorismi on ovella, mutta oikeusministeriö hyssyttelee ja syyttää kansalaisia vihapuheista. They are talking about culture in a way that I think research scientists that are ethnographs or they are into culture would never approve of their way of uh, defining culture because it's absolute 
and it's it's non-changeable. I mean, if you're a Muslim, you're a Muslim, and it's right. I it's mean, it's, it works as an argument in the same way as race used to do. It's something that defines you as an individual, as a whole. Right. So, in the end of the day, not much has changed when you think about the core of their ideology and their thinking. And this is still I th what will make it possible for them to cooperate and marching together. With club-wielding guards from the neo-fascist national resistance movement holding the marchers in line, Riot police protected the demonstration from any protesters they might encounter on their way. So there's a big gathering of anti-fascists on the top of the hill. Riot police have already attacked them. They've thrown a small firebomb right where I'm standing. A confrontation is brewing between the fascist and anti-fascist forces in the middle of Helsinki as the neo-fascists approach a cemetery to honor World War II veterans. And you can see the riot police are attacking the anti-fascists and being extremely violent with them. For the first time in Finnish history, police opened fire on protesters with dangerous FN-303 rounds, wounding several demonstrators, including Yuri, whom we met after his release from a local hospital. Ja se oli ensimmäinen kohta, mistä mä näin sen soittokulkueen. Joo. Ja mä halusin, ja mulla oli koko ajan se tavoite, että mä pääsin puhutaan nimenomaan Olli Immosen. Joo. Tälle mun ihan ehdottomalle ykkös. Joo. Ällölle. <laughs> niin. Pääsin huutamaan sille, että se on natsi muuttu. Se oli se Joo. juttu. Ja sitten kun mä pääsin ja sitten kun mä huusin, niin mua rävähti jo silmää. Joo. Ja tota, silloin rävähti. Mä säikäsin tietysti ensin, että mitä. Mutta tota, aika nopeasti niin sain kuulla, että siinä on ammuttu ja tajusin sen, että on ammuttu. Ja suutuin silmittömästi ja menin poliisin luo vaatii selitystä. Pysäytin noin 10-15 poliisia, joista ainakin yksi oli johtavassa asemassa. Ja näytin silmää, mistä vuoti verta ja sanoin, että te ammuitte mua miksi. Ja kukaan ei reagoinut, kukaan ei tarjonnut hoitoa, ei apua, ei mitään. Mun vaan käskettiin painut ihan suoraan suomeksi vittu. So the police have fully pushed back the anarchist counter demonstration almost eagerly, almost zealously. And we're here at a graveyard in the center of Helsinki where these neo-fascist forces are honoring the war dead, memorializing soldiers who have fallen in World War II. And this is part of their presentation of themselves as a mainstream element representing law and order and the true history of Finland. And it was here, in a graveyard in Helsinki, with a cold rain pouring from the darkened sky, that the procession reached its emotional climax as far-right activists paid tribute to soldiers who fell fighting as allies of Nazi Germany. Jos ne antaa näiden asioiden tapahtua ja seuraa sivusta hiljaa ikään kuin pojat on poikia tyyliin, niin tilanne tulee päätyä todella ikävästi. Jos hiljainen enemmistö astuu esiin, tuomitsee jyrkästä rasismin, ei oteta rasismilla ratsastavia puolueita mihinkään päätöksentekoon mukaan, ei järjestöissä, ei missään, kerta kaikkiaan eristetään rasistit tästä yhteiskunnasta, niin silloin Suomesta tulee taas, tai Suomesta tulee se, mikä se pitää olla kiinni, eurooppalainen maa, missä on kaikilla oikeus olla omiin itsensä. Ihonväri, uskontoa, seksuaalisesti, siitä riippuu.